Hey everyone, my name is Eric Ostrander. I'm with TinkataGuides.com. Today I'm going to be tying up a kabari. I'm going to do a purple haze kabari. I just used purple sewing thread. It's nice and thick so it's real easy to build up a body. You don't have to have fancy thread for tying up kabaris. So this thread is just purple. Purple works great. Catch a lot of fish with it. And all I'm going to do is just use some gray hackle. It's very oversized. You know, it's probably a size, I don't know, 10 hackle, maybe 8 hackle. This is a size 12 Mustad C49 hook. So once I get that feather turned, uh, tied in, I'm going to spin it on, spoon side forward. Usually about 4 or so times around. Tie that off. Now I'm just going to pull all those hackles forward and clean it up a bit. A lot of people will put so much thread behind and get their hackles pointed so far forward that I don't think it really helps out that much. Um, I like my I like my uh, hackles to be more going perfectly, perfectly out, um, just with a, a clear bottom to it, kind of like what we've got right now. Now I'm just going to wrap the thread down the shank of the hook. Pretty far down, I want to get some of that bend into it. And go back up. You don't really have to worry about getting a perfect body here, because the fish don't really care. Um, just the fishermen. <laughs> Now that I've got a, a decent taper on the body, I'm going to get my whip finish tool. Whip finish. One, two, three times around. And because I don't like to use glue, I'm going to do a second whip finish on here. Clip it off. And there you go, one purple haze kabari. And we've got a little bit of a pile going on. There we are, there's for the fifth Tenkata USA fly swap. 